Then, good evening. So, good evening. Let us begin with prayer. Lasst uns anfangen mit Gebet. Lieber himmlischer Vater, Herr, danke, dass du uns diesen Tag durchgebracht hast. Danke für all die Dinge, die du uns gegeben hast. Die Überführungen, die du über unseren Herzen bringst. Und die Dinge, die du möchtest, dass wir sehen und verstehen. Dass wir streben werden und verstehen und diese Dinge in unserem Leben hineinbringen. And I want to pray there as we come to study your word. Und ich möchte bitten, dass wenn wir jetzt kommen, um dein Wort zu studieren, that you will continue to unfold to us these great themes. Dass du weiterhin diese große Themen uns entfalten mögest. And help them to bring the necessary conviction upon our hearts. Und hilft, dass sie die notwendige Überführung auf unserem Herzen bringen. Dass wir dich näher ziehen würden. Dass wir die Sachen so sehen werden, wie du sie siehst. Und dass die notwendige Veränderungen in jeder von uns herbeibringst. Bitte segne meinen Bruder jetzt, als er vorträgt. Und hilft uns, aufmerksam zu sein. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Und wir bitten diesen Namen Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I posted the notes in the live stream group. Ich habe die Notizen in der live stream group gepostet. And uh, this evening we want to look at the punishment on Moscow. Und heute Abend wollen wir dieses Thema, die Bestrafung auf Moskau, anschauen. Because um, obviously this allegory that is played out before our eyes at the moment. Denn natürlich diese Allegorie, die vor unseren Augen ausgespielt wird. Uh, it's always designed to teach us spiritual things. Right? Es ist bedacht, uns geistliche Sachen zu lehren. Okay, and we'll see it hopefully at the end of the study and what the Lord really wants to always focus on. Okay. Und wir werden sehen hoffentlich bei das Ende dieses Studiums was der Herr möchte, dass wir ähm, fokussieren. Okay. Uns fokussieren. So, let us go to the first heading. So, gehen wir zu den ersten äh, Titel. The controversy of the two great cities. So, der Kampf zwischen den zwei großen Städten. Revelation 21, verses 9 to 10. Warum 21, die Verse 9 und 10. It says, And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Okay, what kind of city is it? So, was für ein Staat ist es? Holy. Yes, holy and a great city. Heilig okay. und ein großer Staat. And it's the Lamb's bride. Und das ist der Braut des Lammes. So it's a she. This is okay. a she. It's a woman. A yes. Frau. Okay. And who shows it to John? And who zeigt das Johannes? Gabriel, I'm assuming. Yeah. It says here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's Gabriel, but yeah, but it's the seven angel. Angel with one of the seven last plagues, right? Angel with one of the last seven plagues. So you have Jerusalem. Es gibt Jerusalem. <coughs> And it's a great city. Yes? This is a große Stadt. Okay. Now let us go to Revelation 17. And now to Offenbarung 17. To see the counterfeit. Um yes? das uh, Fälschung dessen zu sehen. So Revelation 17 verse 1. Offenbarung 17 verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying, "Come unto me, uh, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show thee the great, I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters." Now, same introduction, yes. Same Einführung. Verse five. Verse five. 
And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Verse 18. Verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Okay, so what do we see here? What can we here see? Great city. Great city. A great city. But it's, it's a woman. It's a woman. It's a woman. But this city or woman is. But this city or woman is what? It's Babylon. Yes? It's Babylon. Okay, so you have Jerusalem and you have Babylon. Es gibt Jerusalem und dann gibt es aber auch Babel. Das ist auch eine große Stadt. Okay. So, what is the difference between these two cities according to the verses? So, was ist der Unterschied zwischen diesen zwei Städten gemäß diesen Versen? An abomination, one's holy. Exactly. Der okay. eine ist ein Groll, der andere heilig. Okay, and who's the king of the respective cities? Und wer ist der König der jeweiligen Städte? King of the North and the false king of the North. Okay, yes. König des Nordens Christ und der falsche King. König des yes. Nordens. So Christus und Satan. Hier haben Christ als King. Hier haben wir Christus als König. And here this is Satan. Und hier hat man Satan. Yes. Okay, and that's obviously it's the great conflict, right? It's a great controversy. Okay. conflict, So Christ versus Satan is also Jerusalem versus Babylon. Okay. Christus gegen Satan is auch gleich Jerusalem gegen Babel. Yes. Amen. Okay. So, and in the current allegory, und in diese gegenwärtige Allegorie, die wir haben, yeah, in the Ukraine war, right? Der Ukraine Krieg. What is this city and what is that city? Was okay. ist diese Stadt und was ist jene Stadt? Kiew and so, Kiew Moscow. Okay. Und Moscow. So, now let us go to this next quote. Gehen wir in den Notizen zu diesem nächsten Zitat. And it's enough if we just read the sentence here with the bold faces. Genug, wenn wir den ersten Satz hier mit den Fettgedruckten lesen. It says, the holy city, the new Jerusalem, which is the capital and representative of the kingdom, is called the bride, the lamb's wife. So, Jerusalem is the... Capital. So Jerusalem is the Hauptstadt. But it's also therefore the. Aber es ist auch deswegen was? Representative of the kingdom. So okay. the Repräsentant des Königreichs. So the capital city represents the whole kingdom. So okay. The Hauptstadt is a Repräsentant or stellt den ganzen Königreich dar. Yes. Okay. Let us go now just to see this also to Isaiah chapter 7. Und um dies zu sehen, gehen wir jetzt zu Jesaja 7. Verses 8 to 9. It says, For the head of Syria is Damascus. Okay, what is Syria and what is Damascus? So what is Syria and what is Damascus? Just in general. In allgemein. Yeah, a country and a city. So ein Land okay. und ein Hauptstadt. Syria is the country. So Syrien is der Land, das Land. And Damascus is a city. Damascus is a city. But is it just a city? Aber ist es nur einfach ein Stadt? It's the capital city. Das ist der Hauptstadt. Okay. And here, therefore, it's called the head of Syria is Damascus. Deswegen okay. ist es so hier genannt, der Haupt von Syrien ist Damascus. So therefore, Damascus represents Syria, the country. So deswegen okay. Damascus stellt Syrien das Land dar. Because it goes on to say. Then it sagt weiter. And the head of Damascus is Rezin. Okay. And Rezin was the king. Okay. Rezin war der König. Okay. So Rezin ruled over Damascus, and Damascus ruled basically 
over the country. Okay. Sie regierte über Damaskus und Damaskus über das ganze Land. And in verse 9, und in Vers 9, you have the same illustration about Ephraim or the northern kingdom. Okay. Das ist derselbe Darstellung von Ephraim oder dem Nordkönigreich. Because it says, and the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Remaliah's son. Okay, Samaria was the capital city, and Remaliah's son was the king. So, Samaria okay. war der Hauptstadt und Remaliah's uh, Sohn war der König. So therefore, Kiev is the head of. So deswegen Kiev ist der Haupt von. Ukraine. Okay. Okay. And Moscow is the head of Moscow is the head of Russia. Okay. And I mean Rezin. And Remaliah, son. So basically, the king of Kiev is Zelensky, right? The king of Kiev is Zelensky. And the king of Moscow is Putin. The okay. king of Moscow is Putin. Okay. But the point I want to make is here that the capital city, from which I want to make, is the capital is the head is of the kingdom. The head of the kingdom. Okay. So let me just write it here. Head. Head. Okay. Good. <coughs> now let us go to the next heading. In the next Überschrift. Genesis 3.15. Erste Mose 3.15. It says. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay, so what's the war all about? So, worüber, um, worüber handelt sich diese ganze Krieg der Head? About the head, exactly. Okay. So here it is promised. Yeah, that whose head gets crushed? So here is this verheißen worden, wessen Haupt wird zermalmt? Moscow. Moscow, exactly. Moscow. Okay. Putin's head. Okay. Putin's Kopf. Okay. So the head of Satan will get crushed. So okay. Der Haupt von Satan wird zermalmt werden. But it says here, he will bruise his heel. Okay. Es sagt aber hier, dass er seine Ferse zermalmen wird. Okay, but um, what did, did Satan only try to bruise his heel? Hat Satan aber versucht nur seine Ferse zu sammeln? No, he tried to crush Christ's head, right? Satan versuchte Christi Haupt zu sammeln. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Ihm unter den Fußsohlen zu treten. Okay. Hat er versucht. Because it says they tread down the holy city. Yes. Under foot. Sie zertreten den heiligen Stadt unter Fuß. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let us go there, okay? Let us go to uh, Revelation chapter 11. So, gehen wir zu Offenbarung Kapitel 11. And um, let us read verse 2. Und lesen wir Vers 2. It says, but the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. Okay, so the holy city gets trimmed down. Okay. Der heilige Stadt wird niedergetreten werden. Forty-two months. Zwei und vierzig Monate lang. Who did this? Wer tat das? Babylon, right? Babylon. Yeah. So the king of the false king of the north. The false king of the north. Okay, when you go now also to Daniel chapter eight. When we get to Daniel eight, okay. Daniel 
And then verse 13. Verse 13. It says, Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden under foot? Okay. So here we can see they do what? So here can we see what do they do? Tread it under foot. Tread okay. it under foot. Now let us go to Psalms 41. Gehen wir jetzt zu Psalm 41. Vers 9. Und Vers 9. It says Psalms 41, verse 9. Psalm 41. Yea, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. Okay, so when you lift up your heel, so when deine Verse hebst, what do you do? Was tust du? Lift it up to stamp down, right? Hebst es hoch, um niederzutreten. So this is where Satan tried to crush Jesus' head. Und hier ist wo Satan versucht. Hat Jesu Haupt zu Because who, who was this? Son of Perdition. Yeah, exactly. Judas. Was Judas, yeah? Das, das war der Sohn des Verderbens, das war Judas. Das Son of Perdition, okay. So, it's just an illustration here. Yeah, Satan always tries to use Babylon, the Son of Perdition. Das ist eben ein Prinzip. Satan versucht immer Babylon, der Sohn des Verderbens, to, to crush Jerusalem. Um okay. Jerusalem zu zermalmen. So we need to understand the the war between Babylon and Jerusalem is the war between Christ and Satan. Okay. Wir verstehen, der Krieg zwischen Babylon und Jerusalem ist gleich der Krieg zwischen Satan und Christus. Okay, and this is basically the war is whose head is getting crushed. Okay. Der Krieg handelt sich darum, wessen Haupt zermalmt wird. Okay, so let us go now back to our notes. Gehen wir zu den Notizen zurück. Um, it says here. Everybody there? It says, had there been the least taint of sin in Christ, Satan would have bruised his head. As it was, he could only touch his heel. Had the head of Christ been touched, the hope of the human race would have perished. So how would Satan have accomplished to crush Jesus' head? So, wie hätte Satan es geschafft, Christi Haupt zu sammeln? Yes. Hätte ihn verleitet zu sündigen. So, had Christ sinned, Satan would have crushed his head. So, okay. hätte Christus gesündigt, Satan würde oder hätte sein Haupt zermalmt. So, but because he, he couldn't get him to sin, aber weil er es nicht schaffte, Christus zu sündigen zu bringen, therefore what did he only accomplish? So, deswegen, was hat er nur geschafft? Only to bruise his heel. Nur okay. um seine Verse zu sammeln. Okay. So, let's just continue reading. So, lesen wir weiter. It says, Divine wrath would have come upon Christ as it came upon Adam. Christ in the church would have been without hope. But Christ knew no sin. He was the lamb without blemish and without spot. Next paragraph. Next With what intense interest was this controversy watched by the heavenly angels and unfallen worlds as the honor of the law was being vindicated not merely for this world but for the universe of heaven and the worlds that god had created was the controversy to be to be forever settled the confederacy of darkness were watching for the semblance of a chance to rise in triumph over the divine and human substitute and surety of the human race that the apostate might shout victory and the worlds and its inhabitants forever become his kingdom. But Satan reached only the heel, he could not touch the head. Now he sees that his true character is clearly revealed before all heaven, and that the heavenly beings and the worlds that God has created would be holy on the side of God. He sees that his prospects 
of future influence with them will be entirely cut off. Christ's humanity will demonstrate for eternal ages the question which settled the controversy. Okay, so therefore we can see at the cross there was this controversy, right? So we can see at the cross there was this controversy. Now this was the controversy whether Satan would win. So this was the controversy ob nun Satan gewinnen würde or Christ okay. oder Christus. So on the cross there was the war between Babylon and Jerusalem. So on okay. the cross gab es den Krieg zwischen Babylon und Jerusalem. That's why it says in Jeremiah 28. It's, it goes on and says until he had destroyed thee. Brings you right down to the point where he says it's done. Mm -hmm. So he sagt es in 5. Mose um, bis er dich zerstört hat. Also es bringt zum Punkt hin Und sagt, es ist vollbracht. And the point I'm making is because in the Sunday law they're treading, they're trying to stamp your head. Mm -hmm. Denn der Punkt, den ich mache, ist im Sonntagsgesetz, sie versuchen deinen Kopf zu stampfen. But they are, they are just prefiguring that law. Then he says it's done, it is finished, and then the seven last place. And that's where his head gets trod on. Mm -hmm. So Christus schattet das nur voraus, aber wenn er sagt, es ist getan, Und dann in den sieben letzten Plagen, da ist, wo ihren Kopf zerstampft wird. Yes. Okay. So, the, the point I want to make is that uh, when Christ hung there on the cross, der Punkt, den ich machen möchte, ist, dass wenn Christus da am Kreuz hinge, he was a living representation of Jerusalem. Er okay. war eine lebendige Darstellung von Jerusalem. Okay. So, Babylon, Satan, used his agents, okay. Babylon, Satan nutzte seinen Agenten. Yeah, to bring down Jerusalem. Um okay. Jerusalem zum Fall zu bringen. Okay, so, and let us go now to the next uh, quote. So gehen wir jetzt zu dem nächsten Zitat. And it's also a familiar quote, okay. Ein bekanntes oder vertrautes Zitat. It says, true education includes the whole being. It teaches the right use of one's self. It enables us to make the best use of brain, bone and muscle, of body, mind and heart. The faculties of the mind as the higher powers are to rule the kingdom of the body. Okay. So, what do we see here? So, what can we here see? Uh, and we have the higher powers, right? We have the höheren Kräften. And what are they to do? What sollen sie tun? Rule the body. Yeah, rule the body. Yeah. Yeah. The kingdom of the body. Das okay. Königreich des Leibes. So when we now apply this to here, so when we das hier anwenden würden, this is the head. Okay. Das ist der Haupt. It's the higher, higher power. Das ist okay. Die höhere Kraft. It's to rule the body, the kingdom. Okay. Es soll den Leib, den Königreich regieren. Okay, and we see it's the mind. Okay. Wir können sehen, der höhere Kräfte ist der Verstand. Yes. So, therefore, Jerusalem, which is now Kiev, here in this illustration. Jerusalem, was in dieser Darstellung Kiew ist. That's the head, it's, it's the mind. Ist okay. der Haupt, es ist der Verstand. Eben. Yes. Amen. Okay. Okay. So... Therefore, what can we see? What is Satan always trying to do? Deswegen, was können wir sehen? Was versucht Satan immer zu tun? Yeah, he wants to get into our minds, er right? In unseren Verstand Zugang haben. Yeah. So he will crush the head if he can crush your mind. Okay. Er wird den Haupt zermalmen, wenn er deinen Verstand zermalmen kann. This, this is what it, it, it's really representing. It's, it's how Satan will. Take your mind. Das okay. ist, was es darstellt, ist wie Satan deinen Verstand einnimmt. Wie er in deinen Verstand kommt, er muss den Mauer mm -hmm. runterreißen, yes. so wie bei Jericho. Okay, yes, yeah, so we studied this, right? That so Jerusalem studiert. had the wall around it. Okay. Jerusalem hat den Mauer um sich. And Babylon had a wall around it. Okay. Babylon hat auch eine Mauer um sich. Okay, in okay, now let us go here. To Luke 21, 20. Okay. Gehen wir jetzt zu Lukas 21, Vers 20. For now we jump over Revelation 12. Wir springen wir Offenbarung 12 vorerst. 
So Luke 21, 20 says, Lukas 21, 20 sagt, it says, And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Okay, so what is Satan doing? So was tut Satan? Trying to break down the walls. Yeah, he's compassing Jerusalem, right? Yeah, on single Jerusalem. That's why yeah. the angels surround you try to get into your mind. Yes, exactly. Okay. So therefore the, the compassing about of Jerusalem is always an illustration that Satan now wants to get into your mind. He wants to crush your head. Okay. So therefore when Putin comes and surrounds Kiev, so when Putin comes and Kiev umzingelt, which is here, was eben an diesem Weg Marke ist. It's an illustration of how now Satan wants to destroy Jerusalem, destroy your mind. Okay. Es ist eine, Dar es ist eine Darstellung, wie Satan versuchte, Jerusalem zu zerstören, dein Verstand zu zerstören. Ja, nicht versuchte, sondern er versucht es jetzt. Okay. He's now about to. No, versucht, but he versucht it. No, you said versuchte. Oh, I did. Er versucht jetzt dein Verstand zu zerstören. Yes. So. <coughs> So therefore, this is now, yeah, and this is the whole great controversy. Okay. This is the große Kontroverse. So, because Babylon comes now and wants to get in your mind. Okay. Und Babylon kommt jetzt und versucht oder möchte in deinen Verstand hineinkommen. Therefore, whenever Babylon in the past came to destroy Jerusalem. So, denn wenn immer Babylon in der Vergangenheit kam, um Jerusalem zu zerstören. The Lord always wanted to teach the spiritual truth. Okay. Der Herr wollte immer diese geistliche Wahrheit lehren. It's, it's a war about truth and error. It's a war about your mind. Es ist ein Krieg über Wahrheit und Irrtum. Ein Krieg um den Verstand. And ja. Satan wants to destroy Christ's capital. Okay. Und Satan möchte Christi Hauptstadt zerstören. Yeah, but the capital of Christ should be your mind. Okay. Und der Hauptstadt, der Hauptstadt soll dein Verstand sein. Yeah. This is where Christ should rule. Okay? Da ist wo Christi regieren soll. And should govern your kingdom. Okay? Und soll den ganzen Königreich regieren. But Satan, he wants to destroy this in your mind. Okay? Aber Satan no. möchte das in deinem Verstand zerstören. Okay. So, and when we go to the very first war, okay? Und wenn wir zu den allen ersten Krieg gehen, which is in Revelation 12, verse 7 and 8. This is in Offenbarung 12, die Versen 7 and 8. Das ist noch hinauf. Just go jump up again. Yeah. It says, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. Okay? So, this war, yeah. this war was what kind of war back then? Diese Krieg war was für eine Krieg damals? Spiritual war. Yeah, it was a spiritual war. Ein right? geistliches Krieg. It's, it's always the it's always the war. Mind it's, against mind. Yeah, it's it's always the war of truth against error. Okay. Es ist immer das Krieg von Wahrheit gegen Irrtum. Yeah. So back then, Satan and Christ they fought, and it was not. Yeah. With light, light swords, okay. So, damals Satan und Christus haben gekämpft und das war nicht mit Lichtschwerter. Okay, but it was a war about truth and error, which mind would prevail. Okay. So, es war ein Krieg über Wahrheit und Irrtum, also welche Verstand wird ähm, gewinnen. Okay, and the Lord tries, tries to illustrate this spiritual war in, with a literal war between these two cities, okay? The Herr möchte diese geistliche Krieg darstellen durch diese buchstäbliche Krieg zwischen diese zwei Städten. Okay. In order then uh, that we can better understand uh, what it means when he comes in our mind, okay? So dass wir besser verstehen können, was es bedeutet, wenn er in unseren Verstand hineinkommt. Yeah, because he will not one stone will be left upon another, right? Kein einziger Stein wird auf dem anderen liegen geblieben. You will take all the truth out of your mind. Okay. Wird alle Wahrheit aus deinem Verstand stehen. That's the wall that's built with an attempt of mortar. Yes. Und das ist diese Mauer, der mit getünchten Mörtel okay. yeah. gebaut the, ist. The wall, as we were speaking about, is all these different illustrations, but when they're false, it's untempered mortar and it will tumble down like a 
starker Dominant. Ja, ist okay. Let us go there, Ezekiel 13. So, gehen wir da hin, Ezekiel 30, äh, 13. 13. Chapter speaks about these false prophets, right? In diesem Kapitel spricht es über diese falschen Propheten. Um, let us just begin here in verse 3. Wir fangen in Vers 3 an. <coughs> well, 2 even. Sogar Sorry. Vers 2. So, the son of man prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say, uh, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Okay, so when they prophesy out of their own heart, when they aus ihrem eigenen Herz prophesy, what do they do? Was tun sie? They speak according to their own thoughts, not according to God's word. Sprechen gemäß ihrer eigenen Gedanken und nicht gemäß Gottes Wort. Okay, now let us go to. Uh, verse 10. It says, because, even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace, and one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. So what did they do? Was haben sie getan? They built a wall, but haben Mauer gebaut, ja. with untempered mortar. Wenn diese stürmige Wind aufkommen wird. And Uh, when you just go to Jeremiah chapter 4. And then we go to Jeremiah chapter 4 again. Let's go to verse 5 and 6. The verse 5 and 6. It says, Declare ye in Judah. Jeremiah 4, verses 5 and 6. Declare ye in Judah, and publish in Jerusalem, and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves, and let us go into the defensed cities. Set up the standard toward Zion. Retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. So, where's the trumpet blown on the line? So, wo wird der Posaune gestoßen auf der Linie? By the prophet when he's raised up. Yeah, so, right so yeah. the prophet yes. aufgestellt wird. Joel, yes? Joel in. Warns against the great evil coming out of the north. Warned über diese große Böse aus dem Norden, der kommt. Putin coming to surround Jerusalem. Nämlich yes. Putin, der komme, um Jerusalem zu umzingeln. Surrounding the head. Den Haupt zu umzingeln. But this is just an illustration, an outward external illustration. It's our sign. Okay. Dies ist nur eine Darstellung, eine äußere, äh, buchstäbliche Darstellung. Es ist eben unsere Zeichen. Yeah, something that you can physically see. Okay. Es ist eine Sache, die du physisch sehen kannst. But the thing that you physically see, you must understand what does it point to. Okay. Aber das, was du physisch sehen kannst, du musst eben verstehen, worauf weist es hin. Yes, and it points to Satan coming to surround your mind. Okay. darauf hin, dass Satan kommt, um deinen Verstand zu umgeben. And he wants to crush your head. Okay. Haupt So, and the only thing that can save you is the wall. Okay. Das einzige, was dich retten kann, ist der Mauer eben. Okay. So let's just read here. Uh, let's continue this. In this eleven. Um, so lesen wir fort in Vers 11. Because we saw this wall of untempered mortar, it came down by the stormy wind. Yes. Wir gesehen, dass diese Mauer mit getünchten Mörtel es kam mit diesem stürmigen Wind zum Fall. Ungetünchten. Ungetünchten. 
It says, at, at that time shall it be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan, nor to cleanse, even a full wind from those places shall come unto me, now also will I give sentence against them. So here, a dry wind and a full wind will come. Verse 13. Verse 13. Uh, 13 sorry. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Okay? So, the predic prediction is given by the prophet, the king of the north will come. Right? So, the Vorhersage wird von Prophet gegeben, dass der König des Nordens kommen wird. And it's a, this dry wind, this full wind, this whirlwind. Okay. Es ist trockene wind, diese volle wind, diese Wirbelsturm eben. And what is the, the admonition given to Jerusalem that they can be saved? Yeah? Was ist der Warnung, die Jerusalem gegeben wird, dass sie hier gerettet werden können? Vain yeah. Wash thine heart from wickedness, it says. Okay. Wasche dein Herz von Bosheit. It says, how long shall thine vain thoughts lodge within thee? Okay. Wie lange soll deine nichtigen Gedanken in dir bleiben? So it's... And that's the abominations, right? We looked at this. Okay. Sind diese Gräulen, die haben wir angeschaut. That's why we need to sigh and cry for all the abominations that are in our hearts. All these false concepts that we still hold on to. Okay. Diese falsche Konzepten, an denen wir noch festhalten. In order that our wall is not with untempered mortar when he comes. So that our mauer nicht mit ungetünchten Mörtel ist, wenn er kommt. But it's according to God's word. Sondern, okay. dass es eher gemäß Gottes Wort ist. Okay, so, um, and let us go to Matthew chapter 7. Gehen wir zu Matthäus Kapitel 7. And let us begin in verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Yeah. So this is now when the wind comes, right? The das stormy wind. When this stormy wind comes. Yeah, and the rain and the floods. Das okay. Regen und der Flut. Because the enemy shall come in like a. Then the find wird wie was hineinkommen? A flood, right? Yeah, a flood. But this that, that, that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and the man is sin be revealed. Yes, the tag wird nicht kommen. Er ist eine wegfallen gebe und der Mensch der Sünde geoffenbart wird. Okay, so therefore the flood and the winds they, they will start coming here when he comes to surround Kiev. Okay. So when the flood and the wind will here anfang when er komme um Kiev zum umzingen. Yeah, and this must be our sign, right? Das muss unsere Zeichen werden. It says, and when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, sagt, wenn du siehst Jerusalem mit Armeen umgeben, know that its desolation is nigh. So okay. wisse, dass ihre Zerstörung nahe vor, bevorsteht. Flee into the flüchtet mountains. Zum Bergen. Okay. Where did they flee to? Und wo flüchteten sie? To Pella. Zu Pella. And Pella was a? And Pella war? A refuge city, yes? Okay, so let us go to the refuge city. Gehen wir da zu den Zufluchtstadt. Joshua 20. This is in Joshua Kapitel 20. Let us begin with 
two. From them first spy on. It says, speak to the children of Israel, saying, appoint out of your, out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the uh, hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. So, First eye. for whom are these cities appointed? So, for whom are these cities appointed? Now those that kill somebody unwittingly. Yes. Die für diejenigen, die jemanden unabsichtlich getötet haben. Yes. And Sister Lucia already gave the answer. What will you realize here? Okay. Schwester Lucia hat bereits die Antwort gegeben. Was wirst du hier erkennen? Yeah, that you killed Christ. Dass right? du Christus getötet hast. Okay, so therefore you must now flee to the refuge city. Deswegen okay. du musst jetzt zum Zufluchtsstadt flüchten. The Revenger. Yeah, because the Revenger is behind you, right? Weil der Blutrecher ist hinter dir. So her. keep your finger here. Let us go to Romans chapter 13. Halte den Platz hier und jetzt zu Römer 13. Speaking about the state powers. Spricht hier über den Staatsmächten. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, and what is evil? Was is böse? To the Bible. Gemäß der Bibel. Everything that is not according to God's word. Exactly. Alles, was nicht gemäß Gottes Wort ist. So, don't get confused with these words. Not, don't think that if you don't do exactly what they say, then this is evil. Okay. So, werdet nicht verwirrt mit diesen Worten, wenn du nicht tust genau, was sie sagen, das ist böse. In the sense. Okay, for instance, in the Sunday law. Okay. Das ist zum Beispiel in den Sonntagsgesetz. The state power will tell you it's evil not to worship on Sunday. Die okay. Staatsmacht wird dir sagen, dass es böse ist, nicht am Sonntag ähm, anzubeten. But it says here, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. Okay. Es sagt hier, aber wenn du tust das, was böse ist, fürchte dich. So does it now mean you must obey Sunday? So bedeutet das, dass du jetzt sonntags gehorchen no, musst? No. Nein. That which is evil is that that what is evil according to God's word. Okay. Das was böse ist, ist böse gemäß Gottes Wort. Not what they say. So nicht what, gemäß what, what is evil in their eyes. Okay. Nicht gemäß was böse sein mag in ihren Augen. So you must obey God's word, and then you are not. Then you don't need to fear the state power. Okay. Du musst Gottes Wort gehorchen, dann brauchst du den Staatsmächten nicht zu so fürchten. So let us read this again, verse 4. Okay. Vers 4, nochmal. So, for he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, that is breaking any of God's commandments. Also das Böse ist, wenn du irgendein von Gottes Gebote brichst. Be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Okay? So, all those that break God's commandments knowingly, so all diejenigen, die bewusst Gottes Gebote brechen, when the revenger is at hot at your, at your heels, so okay? when the Recher heiß auf deine Fersen ist, what will happen? Was wird geschehen? Yeah, he will execute wrath against you. Okay, er Zorn gegen dich ausführen. okay so... <clears throat> Right here at the end. Yes. Gerade hier am Ende. Destroying the angel. Yes. Exactly. Das zerstören der Engel. So, because what is your only protection when you're in the refuge city? Was ist dein einziger Schutz, wenn du in Zufluchtstadt bist? The wall. The okay. mauer. And Sister White says, what is the refuge city illustrating? Okay. Uh, White, was sagt sie? Was stellt der Zufluchtstadt da? Well, it's Christ's righteous. I mean, because I'm yes. the okay. holy city. Oh, in the temple in the wilderness, you know, this white outer perimeter, which is the robe of representing the robe of righteousness. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is Christi Gerechtigkeit. In the Stiftshütte in the Wüste, it had this 
weißen äh, Leinwandmauer um sich. Und da stellt der gerechte Gewand da. Passa musstest du im Haus bleiben, ähm, was letztendlich äh, den, in, innerhalb des Mauers bist und mit dem Blut an den Türpfosten. Und das Blut stellt ähm, der gerechte Gewand dar. So, if we go now to back to Joshua 20. So, wenn wir zurück zu Joshua 20 gehen. And let us read verse 4. Und lesen wir Vers 4. It says, And when he, that do, uh, when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause, in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto, unto them and give him a place that he may dwell among them. So, that's the, where the public and the Pharisees stand. Yes. So that's what I would understand is here you try to seek admission to the refuge city. Okay. Ich würde das so verstehen, dass hier versuchst du Zugang zum Zufluchtstadt zu bekommen. And you must Enter in here at the very last moment in order that the slayer cannot destroy you. Because they can knock at the last minute let us in. Mm -hmm. They're done. Exactly. Okay. So that's the first judgment, right? So das ist das erste Gericht. And when you enter in, and we compare this also with the sanctuary. Yes? Wenn du hineinkommst, das hatten wir auch mit das Heiligtum verglichen. What, what does it illustrate? Was stellt es da? The first birth, right? Das erste Geburt. Okay. So you enter in, you're now born again. Okay. Du kommst hinein, du bist neu geboren. But then, what do you have later? Let's was read hast du später? 5 and 6. Verse 5 and 6. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittingly and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days, then shall the slayer return and come unto his own city and unto his own house and unto the city from whence he fled. So there's the second judgment, right? That's the zweite Gericht. And it's the judgment for the congregation. This is das Gericht für die Versammlung. So what does it say when you have the first birth? Was sagt es, wenn du das Geburt hast? Your name is written in the... Dein Name wird in... It's written in the book of life, right? Es ist im Buch des and it rain, remains there until und es bleibe da bis investigative judgment. Okay. Untersuchungsgericht. And then und dann you're, you're judged. Right? Du gerichtet. Okay. Again. Nochmal. And depending on this judgment, you either will be delivered to Satan. Okay. Und gemäß dieses Gerichts wirst du entweder Satan ausgeliefert werden. Or you're safe for Eternity. Oder du wirst okay. auf ewig ähm, gerettet sein. Also it's then the second birth, right? Das ist der zweite Geburt. Which is the second veil in the sanctuary. Was right? der zweite Vorhang in das Heiligtum ist. Okay, good. So, therefore, this is what we need to realize. Yeah? When the sign comes, okay. Das ist es, was wir ähm, wahrnehmen müssen, dass wenn das Zeichen kommt, we need to flee immediately to the refuge city. Okay. Wir müssen sofort zum Zufluchtstadt flüchten. And we need to plead for admit, ad, admitted. Ad, admittance. So, yeah. wir müssen flehen für, um, ein, für dass wir Zugang bekommen. And that we get in. Dass wir hineinkommen. Before the slayer can slay us. Noch okay. bevor der Schlechter uns schlachten kann. Okay. Everybody follow so far? Kann jeder folgen? Okay. So the point is about uh, that we need to recognize uh, unless we get our minds in Christ, He will come and destroy our mind. Okay. Der Punkt ist, dass wir wahrnehmen, es sei denn, dass wir unseren Verstand in Christus äh, bekommen, wird er kommen und unseren Verstand zerstören. Okay. But yeah, obviously, if we receive the revelation, yeah, we get our minds in Christ. Okay. Natürlich, wenn wir die Offenbarung erhalten, bekommen wir unseren Verstand in Christus. Okay. So, but the point is, in the past, Punkt ist, in Vergangenheit, how many Jerusalems 
does the Bible illustrate? Wie viele Jerusalem stellt die Bibel dar? Two. 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 Right? Zwei. Mm -hmm. So one gets saved. Der eine wird gerettet. The other one gets destroyed. Der okay. andere zerstört. So in this therefore illustrates obviously those that make it and those that don't make it. Okay. Das stellt zweierlei diejenigen da, die es schaffen und auch diejenigen, die es nicht schaffen. In this illustration, this one at the bottom that's meant to be holy mm -hmm. has become like a harlot. Yes. Exactly. Diese Darstellung, der hier ist wie eine Hure geworden. Yes, so, yeah, let us read here Isaiah chapter 1. Okay. Lesen wir Jesaja Kapitel 1. There it is written. Das ist da geschrieben. And then verse 21. Vers 21. Isaiah 121. Isaiah 1, 21. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Okay, so here we can see Jerusalem turned from the holy Jerusalem to a wicked Jerusalem. Yes? So can we see that Jerusalem had from a holy Jerusalem to a böse Jerusalem? It has a horse forehead. So, yes. Okay, let, let's go there also. Jeremia 3 is saying that she has a hurling hat. Gehen wir dahin. hin. Jeremia 3 and verse 3. Okay, Jeremia 3 verse 3. It says, Therefore the showers have been withholden, and there hath been no letter rain. And thou hadst a horse, uh, a horse forehead, sorry. Yes. Thou refusest to be ashamed. Yes? Okay, so how was the Jerusalem called earlier? So, wie ist Jerusalem vorhin genannt Holy. worden? Holy. Heilige Stadt. So, what kind of mind was it? So, was für ein Verstand war das? A holy mind. Ein okay. heiliges Verstand. Therefore, it's illustrating when Jerusalem is born again. Yes? Es steht da, wenn Jerusalem neu geboren ist. Yeah. Prophetically, where was Kiev born again? Prophetisch, wann war Kiev neu geboren? 1991. 1991. Yeah. Okay, so it became holy es ist Jerusalem. Okay. Jerusalem But then, 2014, it started to apostatize. Okay. Then 2014 fing sie an, abzufallen. Yes. Okay, and now it's this. Harlot woman. Okay. Jetzt ist es diese Hurenfrau. So it has now a harlot's mind. Es hat jetzt einen Hurenverstand. Therefore, what kind of mind does it have now? Deswegen, was für einen Verstand hat es? Yeah, the, the same mind as Babylon. Okay. Das selbe Verstand wie Babylon. That's why it says, I see the queen and see, shall see no sorrow. Right? Deswegen sagt sie, ich sitze eine Königin und werde keine Trauer sehen. But we need to understand, yeah, that still in Jerusalem. Is not Babylon. Okay. Wir müssen aber dennoch verstehen, dass Jerusalem nicht Babylon ist. Because they will escape, the, the represented, those that escape will be represented the truth. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it has now the same mindset, okay? Es hat denselben Gesinnung. But they are illustrating Christ, okay? Aber sie stellen Christus dar. Yeah, and obviously they illustrate those that now apostatized from Christ, but they still profess Christ. Okay. Auch diejenigen, die von Christus abgefallen sind, sie bekennen aber noch Christus. Okay. So, but they adopted basically this mind. Okay. Aber sie haben diese Gesinnung angenommen. And therefore, if they adopted this mind, und deswegen, weil sie, oder wenn sie diese Gesinnung angenommen haben, what don't they have now around was them anymore? Was haben sie nichts um sich herum? Yeah, it's an unwalled village, okay. It's it's a ungemauert Dorf oder Stadt. Yeah, it's a it's a with untempered mortar, a wall with untempered mortar. It's a mauer mit ungetünchten Mörtel. And therefore, he can get in there and destroy it. Okay. Deswegen kann er hineinkommen und sie zerstören. But all those that kept themselves under the fear of God. Aber all diejenigen, die sich unter den Fürcht Gottes bewahrt haben. They have a wall that. It cannot be penetrated. Okay. Sie haben eine Mauer, die nicht durchbrochen werden kann. They will, will be the ones that see the sign and will flee. Okay. Sie werden diejenigen sein, die das Zeichen sehen und flüchten werden. Okay. So and therefore Satan cannot 
destroy their head, okay? Deswegen Satan kann ihren Haupt nicht zerstören. Yeah. He can only destroy the head of those that have now the same mind as he has. Okay? Er kann nur diejenigen zerstören, die dieselbe Gesinnung haben wie er selber hat. Okay. Amen. I don't know if everybody follows, but yes. So now let us go uh, back to the next uh, heading. So, gehen wir zu den Notizen zu der nächsten Überschrift. Uh, Joel 3 verse 4. And this is uh, Joel 3 and verse 4. It says, Ye, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine. So who's this? So, über wen spricht das hier? Threefold union. Threefold union, exactly. Okay. Union. Tyre, and the Tyros, Sidon. Multitude, okay. And the Menge. Okay. It says, Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Okay, so what does it say? What does it say? They come, the Sie threefold union, union kommen, to crush the head of Christ, right, um, of Jerusalem. Den Haupt von Christi, den Haupt von Jerusalem zu zermalen. Yeah, but holy Jerusalem, they only can bruise the heel. Okay? Aber heilige Jerusalem, sie können nur die Ferse zermalen. And what is God promising to do? Und was verheißt der Herr zu tun? According to Joel 3 verse 4. come back upon your own. Yeah, so they want to crush his head, but he will crush his head. Okay. Sie wollen sein Haupt zermalmen, er wird aber sein Zimmer. Okay, but you're talking about the the ones that escape. Yes. But, but the, the, the unrighteous one there. They will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. Das ist diejenigen, die entkommen werden, ihrem Haupt zermalmen, aber die Ungerechten, die werden wohl zerstört. Not one stone, so they'll crush it flat. Yes. So okay. Kein einziger Stein aufeinander bleiben, sie werden flach gelegt. Okay, and therefore yeah, we can see how this head here wir sehen, wie diese Haupt hier uh, will be destroyed. Wird okay. Zerstört werden. Okay. And this is illustrated by the walls of Jericho coming down. Okay. This is dargestellt durch den Mauern von Jericho, die zum Fall gebracht werden. Okay. So and then Jericho was flattened, right? Und Jericho is flach gelegt worden. Okay. So <coughs> Let us go to Isaiah 10, verse 12. Gehen wir zu Jesaja 10, Vers 12. It says, Wherefore it shall come to pass, that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. Okay. So, if he then came against them, so when er gegen sie ankommt, now, it will come back upon their own hands. Okay? Jetzt wird es auf ihren eigenen Häupten zurückkommen. So he is permitted to destroy all those that have, um, uh, have become like them. Okay? So, ihm ist gestattet, all diejenigen zu zerstören, die wie ihm geworden ist. Yeah. But those that remained like Christ, they obviously will remain. Okay? Aber diejenigen, die wie Christus geblieben sind, die werden übrig bleiben. Yeah. Their head cannot be crushed. Deren Haupt können nicht zermalmt werden. Therefore, now it comes back on their own head. Und deswegen okay. kommt es auf ihre eigenen Haupt zurück. And their head gets now crushed. Okay. Deren Haupt werden zermalmt. And this is what is referred to in Genesis 3:15. Okay. Das ist es, worauf es in 1. Mose 3:15 spricht. So let us read this again. Lesen wir das. Okay. It says, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay? So, because Christ he himself was righteous, he could not crush his head. Okay? Weil Christus er selber gerecht war, deswegen konnte Satan sein Haupt nicht zermalen. But he crushed, Christ had crushed his head. Okay? Sondern Christus zermalmte seinen Kopf. Okay. Now let us go to Psalms 74. Gehen wir jetzt zu Psalm 74. And there are so many Bible verses about God will then crush the head of Satan. Okay. So viele Bibelfersen darüber, wie Gott den Haupt von Satan zermalmen wird. Yeah, so Psalm 74, verse 13 to 14. Psalm 74, verse 13 and 14. It says, Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength, 
Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters. Thou breakest the heads of Leviathan in pieces, and gavest him to be meat in, to the people inhabiting the wilderness. Okay, so here we can see, he breaks the heads of the dragons. Können wir sehen, er bricht den Köpfen von den Drachen. In the water, right? In den Wasser. When he divides the sea. So, wenn er den Meer zerteilt. So, what story is this? Welche Geschichte ist das? Yeah, when he punished Pharaoh, okay? So, er Pharao bestraft hat. So there he crushed his head. Da zermalmte er seinen Kopf. Now Romans 16, verse 20. So Römer 16, Vers 20. It says, And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. So, when is this scripture here fulfilled? So, when is this scripture here fulfilled? Yeah, when, when you now crush their heads. Okay. Do jetzt ihren Kopfen zermalmst. Okay. So, before that they want to tread you underfoot. So, davor right? wollten sie dir unter Fuß treten. Now you tread them underfoot. Jetzt right? trittst du sie unter Fuß. It says it's the God of peace. Und sagt, okay. es ist der Gott des Friedens. Marking now the beginning of the time of peace. Es okay. markiert das Anfang, Anbeginn von Zeit des Friedens. So, let us go to 1 Samuel 17. Gehen wir zu 1. Samuel 17. Verse 46. Vers 46. And that's now David against Goliath. This is David gegen Goliath. So David would illustrate righteous Jerusalem. Okay. David würde das gerechte Jerusalem darstellen. This is Goliath. Okay. Und das ist Goliath. First Samuel 17, 46. Das ist Samuel 17, 46. It says, This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand. And I will smite thee and take thine head from from thee, and I will give thee give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. So what will he do? Was wird er tun? Crush his head. Yeah, chop off his head, right? Sein Haupt abheben. Verse fifty one. Verse one hundred and fifty. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine. And took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. Okay, Habakkuk 3, verse 13. So Habakkuk 3 and verse 13. It says, Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thine anointed. Thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked. By discovering the foundation unto the neck. Okay, so here also the head is wounded. So here auch, den Haupt is verwundet. It's interesting, it says in Ezekiel 13, the, the, the wind brings down the wall, but it says it's hailstones. So it's like he, he fires a stone and it breaks the wall down, and hmm. then the head is chopped off. It's like, you've got to take the wall down first. In mm -hmm. 13, es sagt, dass der Wind der Mauer ähm, zum Fall bringt. Aber es, sind, aber es sind Hagelsteine. Ja, und es ist wie diese Hagelsteine den Haupt erstmal zerbrechen und dann kommt er rein und kommt dich. Yes. Okay. So now let us go to Revelation 13, verse 3. Gehen wir zu Offenbarung 13, Vers 3. It says, And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. So what was wounded? So, was ist verwundet worden? The head. The okay. Haupt. Okay, Psalm 74 we already read. Psalm 74 haben wir bereits gelesen. Okay, so therefore we can see yeah, that the Lord, he will punish the head. Okay. So, deswegen können wir sehen, der Herr, er wird das Haupt bestrafen. So, when he comes to destroy this here. So, okay. wenn er ankommt, um das hier zu zerstören. A remnant will escape. Okay. Ein Überrest wird entkommen. Yeah, they illustrate the, the righteous Jerusalem. Sie okay. stellen das gerechte Jerusalem dar. Yeah. And all those that adopted basically this wrong mindset, they will be destroyed. Their head will be crushed. Okay. All diejenigen, die diese falsche Gedankengut angenommen haben, deren Haupt werden zermalmt werden. Okay. But eventually it comes back on their own head. Their head will not be crushed. Letztendlich, es wird auf ihren eigenen Haupt zurückkommen. Deren Haupt wird zermalmt werden. Okay, because they went against Kiev. 
the Lord will come against Moscow. Weil okay. sie gegen Kiew angegangen sind, der Herr wird gegen Moskau angehen. Okay. And he will punish this great city. Okay. Er wird diese große Stadt bestrafen. Yeah. And therefore this is what we can expect, yeah, that I mean all of Russia will be punished but especially the head. Okay. Deswegen das ist es, was wir erwarten kann. Also ganz Russland wird bestraft werden, aber insbesondere der Haupt. Yeah. And I mean this Revolution in 1917, yeah, the October Revolution back then. The October Revolution 1917, damals. It was a great civil war. Ein großes Bürgerkrieg. And it was obviously also mainly fought in Moscow. Okay. Es war auch hauptsächlich in Moscow gefochtet worden. And it's obvious, obvious yeah, it's always where the government is, this is where the head is, and this is where the the war, the center of the war takes place. Offensichtlich, okay. so, wo immer der Hauptstadt ist, also da ist der Regierung und da ist der Hauptfokus des Krieges. Okay, so when you just go to the very last page, so wenn wir zum letzten Seite der Notizen gehen, you can see the satellite image from uh, Moscow. I don't know if it's a satellite image, but I think it's from the International Space Station. Also das hier ist von der, also von Satellit oder von All her, so ein Foto von Moscow. Okay. And it's a great city. Okay. Es ist eine große Stadt. Uh, many, many million people live there. Viele Millionen Menschen leben da. In, in the very center genau of in it, der Mitte, this is where the government sits. Da okay. sitzt die Regierung. So it's like a, uh, this is what we read in Isaiah 7, right? Das ist, was wir in Jesaja 7 gelesen haben. So, Moscow is the head of Russia. So, Moscow ist der Haupt Russlands. But Putin is the head of Moscow. Putin okay. ist aber der Haupt von Moscow. Okay, so therefore, yeah, when we read in uh, Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 how he gets punished, okay, so when we Ezekiel 38, 39 lesen, wie er bestraft wird, then we can know that the focus of the punishment will be on Moscow. Okay. Und wenn wir wissen, dass der ja, Hauptfokus des uh, Bestrafungswert auf Moskau kommt, because the head will be will be crushed. Weil okay. der Haupt wird zermalmt werden. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, and it's just an outward illustration of the mind, the mindset that will be destroyed. Okay. Es ist nur eine äußere Darstellung, äußerliche Darstellung ähm, davon, dass es der Verstand ist, der zerstört wird. Oder das Gedankengut. Und diese Gedankengut. So, therefore, uh, this is what the Lord wants to show us, that first the Lord tests us through this mindset, whether we have actually the right mindset. Okay. Das ist, was der Herr uns zeigen möchte. Er testet uns zuerst, ob wir die richtige Gedanken gut haben, ob wir diese annehmen. Yeah. So, yeah. He uses this mindset to test us whether we have the right mindset or not. Okay. Ist diese Gedanken gut, um uns zu testen, ob wir die richtige Gedanken gut haben oder nicht. And if we stand steadfast with the right mindset, Und wenn wir mit den richtigen Gedanken gut ähm, standhaft bleiben, he will remove the wrong mindset from us. Okay. Der Herr wird diese falsche Gedankengut von uns entfernen. He will remove the northern army. Er wird okay. den Nordarmee entfernen. And then it's a time of peace. Okay. Und dann gibt es eine Zeit des Friedens. Now the right mindset rules. Okay. Jetzt regiert das richtige Gedankengut. So, and this is basically where the Lord always wants to lead our focus to. It's all about the mind. Dazu also okay. möchte der Herr unsere Aufmerksamkeit mal lenken. Es hängt immer von dem Verstand ab. Okay. I hope everybody could follow. Ich hoffe, dass jeder folgen kann. That we really understand how important it is. Dass wir wahrlich verstehen, wie wichtig das ist. Okay, good. Then let us close with our prayer. Lasst uns mit unserer Gebetsrunde Schluss machen.